I work in the Applied Mechanics Department, which covers two groups, Offshore Engineering and the Crashworthiness Impacts and Structural Mechanics Group. Our particular interest lies in the development of numerical methods for structural analysis uh, relating to crash and safety and understanding how materials respond to impact loading, uh, which includes crash, bird strike and explosive, for example. Studies of impact are of importance to everybody, strangely enough. Uh, people are often unaware how present is impact in our everyday life. Impact is important in the design of a number of, uh, for a number of industries. It's important in cars, trains, aircraft, ships, because impacts do happen. For instance, dropping your mobile phone on the floor and having it working after, afterwards, to being involved uh, in potentially in a car crash or aircraft accident where consequences could be more severe uh, if impact was not studied and, and dealt with. Designers have to make, you know, design the products and people like us have to develop the tools to let them do so. Smooth particle hydrodynamics method is a method that our department has been involved in development of and application of the method to solution of engineering problems. We stumbled on a series of papers published by astrophysicists where they used SPH method to model stellar dynamics and realized that there is strong potential of that method being used to engineering problems. One of the important uh, applications that's driven so our, our research work has been the problem of bird strike, how to come up with better analysis tools to predict the response of a structure to bird strike. An example is the impact of a bird on jet engine fan blades. So this is the leading row of blades that you can see when you look into a jet engine. This is the first thing that the bird hits and you need to make sure that the whole engine is safe after the impact so the blades do not disintegrate, the engine can be safely shut down. This is um, a fan blade for, from a modern aero engine damaged by a bird strike, resulting in a crack and a permanent deformation of the blade. Uh, samples of of damaged blades helps us to validate the models that we developed. Models for modeling bird strike and more specifically material models that allows us to model damage in blades like this one. To deal with the complexity that sits behind a bird strike on a fan blade is not possible with conventional simulation tools. It requires more advanced tools and we are back to SPH combined with finite elements and accurate constitutive models. Exactly how accurate simulations are depend on the problem, but our job is to show that the simulations are sufficiently accurate to answer the questions being asked of us. As you can see, I work in safety and accident investigation, and I'm the course director of our postgraduate qualifications in safety and accident investigation. This is ZD992, it's a Harrier that crashed down at Yeovilton in 2000. Um, the official investigation was completed and then we got hold of the wreckage to help train future investigators in the techniques of investigation. It's very useful to talk about the story of the investigation. The investigators were very interested in some of the switch settings in the cockpit. Um, it's very difficult to get in there and take them apart and when the investigators realised that this wouldn't be flying again, they got out the angle grinder and went in from the back. We can also look at this in a wider context and say, OK, how has this performed in terms of crashworthiness? How should we design aeroplanes in the future? Crashworthiness is a branch of engineering which deals with uh, safety aspects and performance of stru structures in crash events, primarily of automotive, aerospace and uh, train structures, where crashes are reasonably frequent. With small price paid in design of vehicles and aircraft for crashworthiness, uh, reduction of injuries and fatalities in crash events uh, uh, is significant. I mean, the work that we do is, is, is driven to solve problems, given us or given all relevant for civil aerospace, such as bird strike or crash, defence, this is uh, ballistic impact, blast protection, automotive crash protection. We do quite a bit of work with Formula One companies related to crash design on that. For offshore maritime problems, you have extreme waves hitting ships or oil rigs or, and causing damage. Wave loading is very important for maritime structures. Uh, in recent events, a number of uh, naval structures have failed 
an encounter the loading that they were designed to encounter one in 100 years. One of the techniques that we have developed within our department is capable to predict wave loading that the structures encounter and we are now using that method to improve design of ships and offshore structures. We really have a unique capability within the UK is covering the development of these tools. We do the fundamental research, we develop um, new methods to solve problems and we provide training to long course, short course students to actually how to use these tools and, and importantly use these tools intelligently. All our development work is problem driven, problems of higher complexity and that's where our main interests are. So all of these are problems which industry needs to design for and need to have the tools to, to do so. So the application of the methods that we have developed uh, have been successfully applied to modeling of offshore structure and, uh, structures under wave loading, ships under wave loading, impacts of helicopter on water, impacts of fixed wing aircraft on water, bird strike on aircraft, ice impact on aircraft structures, improvement of design of fan blades in aircraft engines, and the list goes on and on. Increasingly, actual tests are being replaced with simulation, and simulation can be used to model the behavior of the product throughout its life cycle. And this is a trend that's going to continue. The tools are going to get more advanced. There's going to be the need for better and better tools with better and better physics models under underlying it. And so our work is going to contribute to that. I hope that I have stressed enough uh, how important uh, problem solving is to the activities in, in our department. Uh, it is, uh, the, the, the development work that happens here is primarily problem driven. Yes, now and then we see an interesting academic problem that we address as well, but problems of high priority and high interest to us are the problems that have direct practical impl implication. It is very rewarding when one works on a problem, develops tools to address that problem, and then sees the solution put in place and working, and problem basically removed.